Hi, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap again, and I'm going to make a, um, a tiger swirl, and uh, I'm going to try to really approximate what the tiger stripes really look like. Um, I looked very closely, and it's not just one type of orange. It's an orange and a sort of yellowy, lighter orange, uh, black and white stripes. So, of course, I'm going to use the tiger swirl technique, and I'm going to use, again, the uh, animalistic scent from Nature's Garden. It just smells very interesting and... Um, wonderful and sort of mysterious. So we'll see how it goes today. Okay, so here I am and um, I'm going to do something different with this scent this time. Just make sure I get the, basically the kale and clay in this oil mixture all blended up. Um, the animalistic scent last time accelerated even though it says it doesn't. So I am going to add the fragrance after I do the colors today because I really want it to be fluid and I used my recipe that um, um, stays fluid longer, meaning it has higher, uh, higher um, olive oil content. And aloe vera. Okay, so... Let me get the color in there. All right, so here's all my color, colors ready. And get pouring. So let's see, I am going to just go for it because I need this container for the white. I'm gonna have mainly the oranges. Mixing two types of orange. And there's less black and white than anything else. Okay, so. And then I'm going to just stir in the fragrance. Let's see. It's interesting, the uh, description of this fragrance is um, it has citrus in it and it has anise and pepper. Um, just um, very interesting scent. So there's the white. There's a, um, a leather component to this fragrance also, and I know that that can speed up saponification. And the white is the most fluid. I want them to be roughly the same, so I'm going to blend the white with the blender a little bit. It's a little thicker. It's good. I think it's about the consistency of the others. Okay, so. I'm going to start with some black. glancing over at my picture of a tiger on my computer. 
there's more of the darker orange on the bottom. It's a matter of uh, the light lighting too that the top hairs is like people get bleached by the sun a little bit. That's what I'm guessing. And I have no particular order except to kind of work myself up to the lighter of the two oranges once I get to the top. And then as I look at my picture there, um, there's not as much of the white stripes of it that are portions of the tiger, so I'm going to make sure that I finish most of my white in the bottom portion of the pouring. And I can do that also because there's, um, I made a little less white and um, I can pour a little bit more of the white because the white stripes on the tiger are pretty thick on the bottom. Okay, so time to start with this one. Let's see, I have enough for another stripe of white and then I'm going to keep some for the top. I think that the activated charcoal um, does bleed somewhat, so I do um, use some black oxide with the activated charcoal. That's basically all the black. I think I'll go for a mantra swirl on top because it'll look nice with these colors. Of course, if you do a mantra swirl, you like to get your um, colors of soap in a kind of a ribbon. And I don't want to waste soap either, so I'm going to have to dribble this a little bit. But again, I think um, if you don't have the you know perfect ribbons of color, it alters the mantra swirl in a very um, random way that I really like. It's a dark orange. Okay, now why did I pick this orange? I'm, I'm sorry, I've got more of it, so I want it to... Um, it's okay if it gets blocked by my color that I have less of, which is the lighter yellow, so that's why I picked this. I think I'm getting better at mixing my oranges. My orange color, too, is something I had to consciously work on. And the last little bit of this yellow orange. Put it in the middle. Okay, let's see if I can. Hopefully, it doesn't prove me wrong, but I can. Um, I'm just going to use a broader dowel to make the mantra. Before I go back, I think I would like a little bit more black showing through. I don't really have much of this at all, but here and there it would be nice. That contrast. Not 
good. Right. So that's um, going to be interesting. I think the stripes are going to work out quite well in that. This is, I um, don't know what I'm going to call this yet, something about tiger. Um, but uh, I think the color's worked out, so it should work out okay. And I'll be cutting this hopefully tomorrow. And thanks for watching again. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap.